I love Halo 2, so when I found out that there is a fan patch to make the multiplayer on the PC port work again, I was very ecstatic about it, and I quickly hopped on, played a few rounds, and I was fairly eager to make a video explaining how to get it working so more people can get on and play this amazing game once again. So obviously the first thing you're going to need when trying to get Halo 2 multiplayer working is an install of Halo 2, which it doesn't really matter how you get that as long as if you're installing it now, you uncheck run Halo 2 after install and after installing it, when it asks you to register it, hit later as the verification servers for Halo 2 and all Games for Windows Live games are like they were shut down. So the game trying to connect to it may mess some things up, might not actually do anything, but a lot of people online were saying that it would in fact mess some things up, so I don't know. I'd recommend just doing that, just in case it actually does cause a problem. So once you have Halo 2 installed, uh, you're going to want to go to the website, I lost my mouse cursor there, uh, halo2vista.com slash forms, er, oh, or you could go halo2vista.com and then click on forms right here. So obviously you're going to want to register first as that will actually give you access to the downloads on the forms and you're going to want to like create the username that you want in game. It doesn't matter at the moment but it will when they push the next update as they want to start adding features like online leaderboards and all this other stuff like a ranking system similar to what Halo 2 had when the Microsoft servers were actually up for it. So they just want to add that functionality back other than just basic online play which it was always nice. You're going to want to go down here to Halo 2 online install guide. It's also right here. Whichever link. So once you're here and you're logged in and everything, I'm going to come down here to Halo 2 Online Launcher, you're going to want to click download, I'm going to open it a new tab. It's going to take you to the GitHub page of FishPhD, which if you've played Halo Online, the fan-made hack of the Russian game, you'll recognize this guy's having done work there. So then you're going to, you're going to click Halo2Online.exe, or H2Online, uh, you're going to want to download this. You can download the source code if you want. But unless you have a means of compiling it, it's sort of pointless. So once you have that done, you're going to want to load the file. I already have a download on my desktop. You're going to want to launch it. And I will be back in a second because there's a certain thing that comes up on the launcher which you really don't want other people to see. So now I'm back here. And uh, once you load up, the EXE, once you launch it, it will ask for admin rights, which you should have, seeing as how you were able to install Halo 2. Uh, just hit yes, it'll load this. Uh, there's a thing here called UID, which is your unique ID for the servers. I would recommend against showing it to other people. In the end, it might not actually matter, but I'd recommend against showing it online. So you're going to have your username, which is your, like, the name that's going to come up in servers. Uh, I don't know if it actually shows this or the, uh, like, the account name once you're actually in-game. But, uh, I would say just hit this to whatever name you want anyways. And, uh, our image is leave that blank and uncheck debug. And, well, when you first launch this, it's going to want to ask where your Halo 2 installation is. Uh, if you did not install it to the default location, it will ask you, in which case you just click on the folder where it is. If it is to the default installation path, if you're using an official Microsoft copy, which you should be, uh, it'll just automatically detect it and download the files, which will let you get connected and start playing. And then once that's all done, just click play and you're good to go. So once you're in game, there is one thing that I want to go over here. The first thing you'll notice is that the main menu, like the background, is actually different from the default game, which is that, uh, 
like the default install there'll be like a blue tint over everything in the background they decide to remove it for whatever reason here and you can definitely see why <laughs> the blue tint was there in the beginning uh, those are some low polygon buildings there but doesn't really matter. Now, the campaign does in fact still work, and I'm sorry if you can hear my keyboard here, but uh, these menus are not very PC friendly. It wasn't a very good port, but it is still a very good game. So now, the first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, go through your settings. Now, your graphic settings are in fact in a different menu compared to your like control options. Now, obviously, here's your video settings, that's your graphic settings. And to edit your key bindings and controls, you're going to want to go under Player, and then choose your uh, profile here, which here's mine. And then you want to go to Edit. This is the same place you go to where if you want to change your the appearance of your Spartan or your Elite, if you're so inclined. But uh, you're going to want to go down to either Controller or Keyboard and Mouse, uh, preferably Keyboard and Mouse because it's just superior. Uh, you're going to want to go to keyboard settings. And there's a few default layouts here. There's the default, there's skirmish, and then there's a uh, southpaw, which is for a left-handed person. For I don't know, it doesn't actually translate, like the southpaw thing doesn't translate to keyboard and mouse very well. It's a thing they do in uh, like the console versions. It just doesn't really work. I mean, they got like IJKL, but in terms of like the mouse, they inverted that. I mean that it doesn't work. And then there's your custom layer. You're gonna to want to hit that to actually be able to set up your own key bindings. Uh, now the thing is the like down here, the like Xbox button things. You're gonna actually like if you want to delete something, you actually hit X on it. That I don't know why they didn't just have actual keyboard things here instead of Xbox buttons, but I I don't know. I don't have a controller plugged in. It's weird. All the menus have that. And uh, change your sensitivity here, whether or not it's inverted. Automatic look sent. Why would you have that? I don't And then dual wield inversion, which is when you dual wield something, you hit like left to shoot the left, right to shoot the right. You can invert that if you want. It doesn't really matter. So yeah, that's how you change that. Now, when you go to set up a like a custom lobby and you want custom game modes, you actually have to do it here in the settings menu, which is very strange. I don't I don't know why they don't just have it in the lobby menu. You have to do it here. I don't know. And uh, oh, actually, when you go to connect to a server. Don't go to live, that's the old network. You're going to want to go to network, which is what you do if you're playing LAN. Uh, I don't know how this affects actual LAN play, but this is where you want to go to connect to an online game. There's a few games going on. So yeah, there, there's not many people playing. I hope more people get on. And uh, yeah, so this is the end of the video. I hope this encourages you to go download this game. Uh, preferably buy it in a legal way but download the update, but, you know, some people are going to do what they want to do. So, I hope you get playing on Halo 2.